Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. Last episode, we ended up making this guy our diesel engine, but we ran into issues with actually having fuel to power it. Now, I had mentioned that the Twilight Forest is full of oil, and in order to do anything with that oil, we look through GEI, and it seems like we have to build a huge distillation tower, which is going to require stupid amounts of steel for us to do such things. Uh, in the comments, you guys have pointed out, since we have already created the industrial fermenter and the industrial squeezer, we should look at making biodiesel, which we can pump into the diesel generator. And I think it runs just the same as regular diesel, except, you know, it's from plants. So it's more environmentally friendly. I think that goes a little bit nicer with uh, the base theme. Uh, obviously, a diesel generator probably is not the best source of power for a nature themed base, but we do need to upgrade our power, and this is the next step. We can be a little bit more environmentally friendly with the biodiesel. Let's go, let's, let's just, let's just go that way. All right. <laughs> so biodiesel, in order for us to make this, we need a refinery, right? And we have a refinery right here. So in the refinery, we have to pump in plant oil and ethanol. Now plant oil is obtained by squeezing seeds in the industrial squeezer. So we can do hemp, melon, uh, wheat seeds, beetroot, or pumpkin. Now, each one of these seems to give a different amount. Weed seeds gives a decent amount at 80. Melon seeds gives a pretty poor amount at 20. And industrial hemp seeds gives the most at 120. Now, I'm not sure which one would be the best to do. Now, for instance, if we were to grow melons, we can get a whole bunch of melons per melon block and then convert those all into the seeds and get a whole lot of the seed oil that way, the plant oil or we can grow uh, the industrial hemp and get a whole bunch of that way as well. Now the hemp seeds, if I remember correctly, were the first seeds in this mod pack that we did agri-craft with and got them to the 10, 10, 10. Uh, yeah, industrial hemp. So those are 10, 10, 10. So these grow fast and they produce a lot of stuff, but we really don't have a good way to automate it. Like we can automate it, we can set up some sprinklers and move one of these things where we need it and have some kind of like an item collector collect it and put it into drawers and, you know, there's ways of doing it. There's also a quest in here. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. For the garden cloche where you can put in a seed and this thing will just grow it all in one block. And this might be easier. We can check it out. I don't think you can put in the agricraft seeds into this thing. I don't think it recognizes like the 10, 10, 10 stat. If you can even put them in there at all. We'll let, let's check it out because we do have to make this anyway for a quest. Ooh, maybe we can't make this. We have to do an advanced crafting table. Interesting. Vibrant quartz, greenhouse glass, topiary gra grass, pulsating crystal. Um. Well, I mean, the pulsating crystal is stuff that we can do. Treated wood scaffolding is stuff that we can do. The constatan plates. I mean, we know how to make those. Greenhouse glass. We can make those. Okay. Is there anything in here that's going to prevent us? The vibrant quartz glass. So quartz glass. That is just quartz powder, which we have our <laughs> coffers stuffed full of. Plus some regular glass. That's all easy. So topiary grass, so seeds around dirt, easy. So I guess the hard part is getting this advanced crafting table. So in order to make one of these, we have to have two of the basic tier plus these crafting components, which requires luminescence, which is easy enough to craft. Black iron slates, uh, we can, if we get black iron, we just put it through our metal press, we know how to do that. And that is made with ender crafting, oh boy. So we, oh, blank root, okay. It, what's going on here? In order to make this garden close, we have to get into blood magic? Is that what's happening here? Steel ingot, blank slates, oh boy. Some people at the start of this mod pack is like, hmm, this mod pack doesn't seem very Kappa moody. Yeah, what do you say about it now? 
So in order to make the blank slates, we have to have imbued inscription tiles. Oh man, more Lord craft. Who's up for that? You get eight of those per craft. Well, I guess that's a mana infused dust plus eight of the inscription tiles give you those. Okay. So we have to start into blood magic. Now, did we unlock blood magic at all? That's, I guess, the next thing we need to figure out. That is not the blood magic section. I know it's in here somewhere. Yes, we have unlocked this. So blood altar, the sacrificial dagger, the orbs. Okay, so maybe it won't be so difficult to get there, but it is something we're going to have to jump into that we haven't done yet. Oh my goodness, guys. Um, so that was the garden cloche. You know what? I'm feeling up for this challenge. I think it's about time we start jumping into some magic mods. We haven't touched them at all, really. Uh, so in order to do that again, we need this table. We need this table. This table times two. Double compressed crafting table. So that's nine compressed crafting tables. So that's essentially 81 crafting tables times two. And then these crafting components with all the black iron ingots, which all comes from this. So ender biotite. So in order to get this, we have to go to the end as far as I know, because that is an end only item. So maybe the next step is us to go to the end and kill the ender dragon, huh? Uh, you know what? We haven't really made really good armor yet, like at all. We've made armor that worked, but we haven't worried about getting good enchantments on here. Maybe it's time that we start working towards all of this kind of stuff. So if we're going to go get ourselves some XP to do some enchantments, let's go ahead and eat one of these carrots. That way we have full saturation and let's vein mine the nether, the nether rack away. So we went from pretty much no XP to 22 levels. Now I think I'm going to do is something that I don't really think affects us too much as far as the mod goes, um, as far as this mod pack goes. Normally you're limited to 2,048. Let's change this to like, I don't know, 10,000. That way we can mine up to 10,000 blocks. I think that'll probably be okay for us to do. It's not really gonna change the pack at all. It's just gonna allow us to vein mine more a little bit easily. So now we can just hold this button down for, oh, maybe you can't do that. Actually, let me go back in here. Mod options or excavation. Uh, what else did I do? Range. We need to add like a zero onto here. There we go. Okay, so now it'll do up to 10,000 blocks uh, significantly further away. So we should be able to collect more stuff. Apparently I'm still missing something here. What else are we missing? Uh, limit, max undoes, mode, range, speed. Oh, you know what? The speed, I don't think I needed, I don't think that should be on. I'm not sure why that is not going further. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, I know what it is. I'm uh, playing on a local server and I'm changing my client settings, but yeah, the uh, the local server settings need to be changed. So if you're playing single player, you can go ahead and freely do that. <laughs> I guess I need to just vein mine little bits at a time. I can change it on the server, but then I got to restart the server and this and that, blah. Yeah, we'll just do it this way. All right, guys, so I got back from the nether with 105 levels. That's quite a lot. We'll go and dump those into here. So now we have 109 total, and I'll just grab, I guess, 30 levels. Oh, you know what? I did not grab Lapis. Whoops. This is the first time I've ever enchanted in Minecraft, guys. I have an excuse. <laughs> All right, so I did make myself a fresh set of armor here. Our current armor is pretty worn. Um, so yeah, we have a fresh set of armor here. And I wanted to try the cobwebs. It says it can be used to remove enchantments. I assume that's how you like disenchant all of your stuff. Like if you enchant armor and you're like, eh, I want to try and re-roll it. I assume that's how we do it. Uh, so yeah, let's give this a go. So we're going to try the helmet. So this only says 24 levels. Why is this not giving me all 30? I'm confused. What's up with that? Why does it say 24? Uh, we have bookshelves. Is this thing blocking? Let me try getting rid of that. We should be seeing level 30. Oh, there we go. So maybe that was blocking. Weird. Uh, if you don't know, I did put in an XP, uh, drain singularity tank. 
What this does is drain XP out of the player and stores it as liquid XP in this tank. And then you can use the XP tap, this thing here, to turn those into orbs. So apparently you lose some XP by doing this because I had 30 levels and now I don't. Is there a little bit? There's no more in here. Okay, so I guess that is a little lossy. Uh, I've been using that to repair my diamond wand here that I put mending on. So yeah, as I was building out the base, I would stand on there with the tap open and just fill this thing up. Yeah, I didn't realize that you lose a little bit of XP by doing this. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, can we put this maybe, maybe back here? There we go. So it's still attached to the tank. Yeah. All right. So if we try and do the helmet, that's his last stand. I don't really care too much. I'm breaking this as protection three. We're really looking for protection four armor is what we're looking for. And nothing good here. So we will just go ahead and drop uh, a level onto there. Protection four in the helmet. Here we go. Perfect. So let's grab two more levels out of here. And then we will enchant the helmet. Boop. And soulbound three. Can't complain. All right. So unbreaking would make this better. What else do we have on this? Just protection three. Yeah, so that's that's an upgrade. Okay, cool. Uh, so soulbound three is the thermal expansion version of soulbound, unlike the Ender IO one that lasts for forever. This one, like when you have soulbound three, when you die, that'll change to soulbound two. You'll still keep the item. Eventually soulbound will go away if you die that many times. But yeah, you have like three chances to die and keep your armor. Anyway. So let's try another piece here. So we got Soulbound 3. I mean, that could have something good, but unless it actually says protection, I don't think I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a few more enchants here, try and get what we're looking for, and we'll be back, guys. Now, it is true. We could use the enchanter here to get all of the different enchants that we want to, but then it starts costing more and more every time you apply a new book, and it's better just to start off with freshly enchanted armor. Now, I saw Protection 3, and I grabbed on these Sapphire Leggings instead of waiting for Protection 4, because we already have Sapphire Leggings with Protection 3 on them, right? So if we combine these, we do get Protection 4 anyway. So it costs 7 levels this way. This way costs 5 levels. I have 21. Uh, I think we are going to grab our XP thing down here and bring it up. We don't have to keep running back and forth every time. Yeah, we'll just try and be as efficient as possible with our levels so we don't have to keep going and vein mining. But I think it said we need five levels, right? So put all those away. Perfect. And then it was this one and this one, right? Okay, so now we got protection four. Cool. So we have uh, unstable two on the chest plate with protection four. Unstable causes an explosion to happen if you have gunpowder in your inventory, I think. Uh, it does not hurt you, but it hurts enemies around you. As long as we're not carrying gunpowder, this shouldn't make a difference, though. So, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, Protection 4, Protection 4, Unstable 2, and Soulbound Protection 4. So, we're doing pretty good. Now, we did also get ourselves a an auto-feed. I don't think we need that. Uh, we got Feather Falling, and I think, yeah, Reading. We got both of those just from, like, crappy enchantments. So, I think I want to go ahead and throw those on our different armor. The reading makes it so we don't have to wear the gl the glasses when we do the bibliocraft stuff. Not super necessary, but let's just go ahead and throw it on there anyway. So, oh, maybe we can't do that. Okay. I'm not sure why it won't let me put it on here, but it won't let me put it on here. Okay. Guess we're not going to do that one. Feather falling. Let's try that. And feather falling costs four levels. I don't think we technically need a feather falling as long as we have some kind of creative flight, but we'll go ahead and throw it on there anyway. Okay, so there's that and the feather falling for four levels. Not bad. So previously we also had depth strider on here. I am curious if we combine these, if we can retain depth strider. Yeah, so unbreaking, protection, feather falling, depth strider. I mean, those seem like a really good boot to me. It costs 15 levels to do this. So let's go ahead and grab those. And this, this. Perfect. Okay. So we're still using the Sapphire Armor. It's not the best, but it has pretty good enchantments on it. And we, I guess it's comparable to like Diamond Armor. But as far as like modded Minecraft armor goes, it's definitely not the best. We could probably start looking sometime soon at getting Dark Plate Armor. Um, but yeah, that costs a lot of power in order to upgrade it. And then you have to 
also put all the different other things on there to make it absorb more power and stuff. So honestly, I feel like we're doing pretty good for right now. We will definitely look at better armor later. I'm going to hold on to this reading one. These other ones I'm just going to throw away, get rid of those. And this other armor we will store in here as well. Okay, and that can go away. Um, I guess we didn't really need the cobweb. I was thinking that it'd be enchanting the armor over and over again, and then we'd use that to wipe the enchantments, but we didn't actually need to do that, so that is fine. That stuff can go away, and these can go away. Cool. So now that we have all of that done, we do need to go to the end. Now, we have a quest for going to the end. <laughs> I really wanted to get working on the biodiesel, and today we're going to the end, apparently. Uh, yeah, there is a the end cake. End cake, dimensional edibles. So we have to make yet another cake with some eyes of ender around it. And the cake, as we've seen before, wheat, egg, sugar, milk, or you can also use uh, fresh milk, which you get four of those for one bucket of milk. So I'm gonna go ahead, make a cake, make some eyes of ender, get that all set up, we'll be back. And 13 eyes of ender later, we have ourselves an end cake. And I believe you can right click five eyes of ender onto this to uh yeah to fill it out all the way so i don't think we need a dimensional apple or whatever to get back to this dimension we have the slash home command uh and then also once we kill the dragon we should have the portal to like warp back i don't know if there's any reason to go to like the end cities there might be some good loot out there i don't know i guess we could check that out but uh let's go ahead and put this down by the rest of our portal spam i guess we'll just throw it over here in the corner like so the end all right so we need to right click these pearls on there and maybe i could use one more is that full i don't know no it looks like maybe it's uh six eyes of ender well anyway that's enough to do what we need to do right so we have our armor all sorts of protection we have our food so we can go ahead and eat one of those and have like nine minutes of saturation lots of health regeneration because of that uh, we have bow and arrow and our sword, and I think we are pretty much good to go. Create a flight should work there. I guess I should bring blocks, I guess, right? Just in case. I don't know. In case create a flight doesn't work, there is a mod in here that prevents our create a flight from working in the twilight. We'll put that away just in case as well. So we have some blocks. We have this. I think we're ready to go take on the dragon. Hopefully it isn't anything crazy. We'll find out. Let's go. Okay, so it just spawned me in the portal. So it doesn't spawn me at the normal entry point to the end, which I guess makes sense since there isn't a normal entry point to the end. Oh, did I just look at those guys? All right, let's go take care of them. I felt like I looked at them, but I wasn't sure because they're not really wiggling. Okay, there we go. Whoa, the dragon is like all up in my face. Is the dragon different? I'm not sure if the dragon's different or not. All right, let's 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 do what we're supposed to do here instead of playing around with the Endermen. We'll go ahead and kill these things. This fight is like very, very trivial in modded Minecraft when you can just fly around and easily shoot all these different things. Now, I don't think you can shoot through these bars in uh, 112, right? You can do that in 114. They did change that a little bit, so we have to vein mine these away. Not like that's a big problem, but it's just something to be aware of. This fight is significantly easier in 114, I feel like, anyway. All right. So is that all the healing? Nope, one more. Let's go and get rid of this one. Very good. Cool. So now it's just a matter of flying around and hitting the dragon and killing it as we do. And there we go. So, easy fight is easy. Uh, partway through the fight, I was contemplating that I probably should have brought some bottles with me to get Dragon's Breath. I don't know if we need that for anything. I can definitely see us needing to respawn the dragon because of that later. How much XP do we end up getting here? Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. 57, 59. There's some more orbs over here. 61, 65, 68. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, uh, I guess we can 
try and get ourselves the egg. One of those, one of those, one of those. Drop a torch here and egg easy. Okay, quest complete, Ender Dragon. I guess that was the uh, the thing that we needed. So we got ourselves a Dragon Heart, some Draconium, some Dragon Scales, uh, the Ender Dragon Trophy. What is this thing? A Fragment of Midnight from Armor Plus. I have no idea what that is. So Supremium Essence, that's really good. So Supremium Essence does not down convert. If the use is for this, uh, we can turn it into the coal, I'm probably sure we can turn that, whoops, we can probably turn that into the next tier, the, the purple, right? Yeah, the Insanium Essence, but we cannot down convert it. Okay, so that's a one-way street. Okay, those are for Diamond Seeds, Emerald Seeds, Wither Skeleton, Titanium, Uranium, 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 <laughs> Platinum, Iridium, Enderium, Manulin, Vibrant, and Steel, Terra Steel, Refined Obsidian, Dash. Okay, so that is from Galacticraft. That's Mars, right? Dredium, Draconium, Yellorium, and finally Rock Crystal. So there's a lot of different reasons that we're gonna need this Supreme Essence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we came here looking for End Biotite. Now that is a thing added from quark if i remember correctly and this is the stuff no that's not it and it looks kind of like that but it's not that uh yeah end biotite this stuff ender biotite be in mind that and we got ourselves only 16 that's not a whole lot okay well i'm gonna go ahead and mine up a lot of this stuff i'm not entirely sure with the ender biotite if every time you kill the dragon it spawns in more I feel like cosmic material. I'm not sure what that is. I feel like I've seen it where the end is just like completely filled with this stuff after like multiple dragon fights. And I'm not sure if that's the reason or what, but, or if it just like appears after a certain amount of time or how that all goes. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and collect a bunch of this stuff and maybe look at some of this other stuff End iron and a silver. And I'm just going to see what's here and we'll be right back guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I cleaned up all the ores at the main island, and then I went through the portal that spawned from killing the dragon, and immediately coming here, I see a present! Guys, we got ourselves a present! Should we open it? Huh? Should we? No, you do not ever open these things. No matter how much peer pressure you get, especially in Project Ozone 3, you do not open these things. They're, like, all bad. There's not a single redeeming quality about opening any of them. Ever. No exception. Like one of the rewards, quote unquote rewards, one of the things that you get from those chance cubes is like the Draconic Evolution spawner big explosion thing. So if you open that up in your base, you don't have a base anymore. Like it just annihilates any block and like a 256 wide area. Don't ever open up those ever, especially in this mod pack. So anyway, uh, since we are here in the end, and we very uh, luckily found one of these NCs with a boat really quickly. We should uh, go ahead and do the stuff with the things here. Okay, so I am going to kill some shulkers. One hit, one kill. Nice. Uh, we'll come in here and get the elytra. I don't know if we need the elytra. I don't really know if we need extra brewing stands. We'll just go ahead and grab this stuff while we're here. There might be some good stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 got me. Uh, what? Please stop making me suffocate in the block. What's going on? I... Game, please. What is even happening? Okay, that's scary as heck. If it makes you levitate into the block and you suffocate, ooh, that's not good at all. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see what loot we had in here. Dark Steel Upgrade Direct. Upgrade for Dark Steel items teleports mined items directly into your inventory. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. If you are using like the dark, uh, was that the dark pickaxe or something? So this dark bow is just empowered. That's not anything great. Enhances reach. I wonder for how long though. It doesn't say. I think I'm just going to leave that. 
So Shulker Soul Vials and regular Soul Vials are definitely worth it. Looks like we did end up getting two Shulker Shells. And then Gold and Iron, that doesn't really matter. We can just leave that stuff. Uh, more Soul Vials, I'll definitely take those. The recipe for these are Fused Quartz. And Fused Quartz, you have the small quartz. However, you do that with some Solarium. So getting it for free is definitely very nice. I'll take the Emerald and the Diamonds, although I don't think we need Beetroot Seeds. And as far as our inventory goes, it's not looking super great, is it? We didn't actually end up needing these blocks, so I'll... Oh, you know what? The uh, Dink Knoll is in here, isn't it? So I will go ahead and drop them down so they all go into my inventory. And then we can get rid of these purple blocks. We don't actually need these. We're just trying to keep ourselves alive so we didn't suffocate to death. Okay, so we got some inventory space back now. Let's grab the elytra. Is this useful at all in this mod pack? You use that for making the opinion core amazing. So we might need some of these later. Dragon scale, what is this? Dyed black, oh. Oh, interesting, okay. Uh, Dark seal upgrade elytra, so I guess that's for the chest plate. Um. So if, unless the Opinion Core Amazing, Inspiring, Perfected is needed for anything, Ultimate Crafting, it is needed. Okay, okay. So yeah, we do need these. Cool. So I will go ahead and hang on to this guy. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite sure if we needed them or not. I just figured we'd come here and looking at what they are. Um, let's kill this guy. Get those things out of here. Did you drop any shulker shells? If you did, they probably landed way down there, huh? Do we need end rods? I think we can craft those easily enough. And we can warp back here whenever we want to. Let's just drop down here real quick and see if the shulker dropped anything. No, just a loot bag. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Um, Now, as far as like other loot goes, I feel like we should check this out. It's probably gonna be worthwhile for us to do so. Also, uh, the shulker boxes in modded are definitely worth making because there are iron shulker boxes, which means like the regular vanilla style shulker box, except like way better. There's diamond ones that gives you like so much inventory in such a small space. Yeah, I definitely feel like they are worth getting in this. Uh, oh, there's another one right here. Let's try and get this guy. Open up. Boop. Oh, I didn't boop him. I thought I was going to boop him. Now I'm floating. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> uh, all right, so if we float up, we should be okay, like, underneath this slab or whatever. That should not suffocate us. All right, very good. And we ended up with six shulker shells so far. Guess we'll just keep exploring around, killing these guys. If I see anything interesting, I'll bring you guys back in. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Well, nothing super interesting happened while we were at that end city collecting stuff. I ended up with five uh, soul vials full of shulkers, nine additional soul vials. Uh, what else did we get? We had a dark steel upgrade for solar one. So I guess like if you put that into your helmet or something, it'll just charge itself up. I don't know if that works for the bow. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I guess uh, generates power from the sun, upgrade for dark steel items. I mean, I guess we could see. Does that go into the bow? Where would this go? In this slot, that slot, I don't know where you would put that actually. Uh, maybe it doesn't work for this one. I'll have to figure that out later. Well, anyway, uh, we ended up with 27 shulker shells, some diamonds, some emerald. Yeah, and then another thing that I did notice from the dragon, um, we did end up getting a green heart. Now we haven't really touched any of these hearts at all, but yeah, we did get some good stuff. So let's go ahead, we'll beat Minecraft real quick. Game over. We don't have to play anymore, we did it. I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, now that we have all of that stuff, getting some shulker boxes might be worthwhile. Like I was talking about, if we look up shulker, there's the uh, iron versions. Um, yeah, so the iron shulker, there's a gold, a diamond, a copper, a silver, and obsidian. So it's similar to like the iron chest mod. Now this does require you to wrap around uh, iron ingots. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. I was going to do that while I was in the end, but I didn't have a crafting table. Um, yeah, so we'll make some shulker boxes. Well, let's just make one. Let's not get too crazy since these things don't stack. 
What was that? There was like a little plus sign that appeared here. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, so we have a shulker box. Let's grab iron. I don't have any iron ingots, really. Okay, so we need some iron. I think we're gonna need gold. I think we have to use gold to upgrade to the next tier, and then we're gonna do the diamond one, whatever that one costs. So the shulker with that gives us the purple. Well, actually, I guess before we open it. For those of you who might not see it, it's just a normal chest size, right? All right, so if we do the iron variant. Ooh, this has got that mod that shows you what's in the, the shulker box. Interesting. Anyway, we open that up. So now we have a double chest storage that we can just pick up and move with us, which is really awesome. Now, if we upgrade that to the gold, what is with these pluses that keep appearing here? I'm not going crazy. I saw the plus. <laughs> so if we pick that one up and we put it in here. Yeah, that's like significantly better. That's like the uh, iron chest, the gold chest, the iron chest mod gold chest. And then if we wanted to upgrade this to the diamond one, that is five glass and three diamond. So five glass, and then we have the diamond on us. So that, glass, and diamond. Did I just do that backwards? Uh, let me go back in here. Diamond shulker box. Oh, this recipe might be invalid. No, that's from a silver to a diamond. We're going this way. So it's two diamonds and six glass. So it's a little bit cheaper, I suppose. So diamond, diamond, and then glass, glass, glass. Okay, so this is the diamond one. Oof, that's a lot of inventory. That's really good. So I think that's significantly better than anything else that we can store at this point, other than like the normal diamond chest, this thing. Like we can make these, but the difference is like this is not... It, like the contents don't come with it unless you use something like a cardboard box or whatever Whatever you store in these shulker boxes when you break them and pick them up like it contains all those items in there Uh, yeah, that tool tip is really nice being able to see what's in there, too. I like that. I think that auto like Sorts everything and combines it so you can kind of see well, maybe it doesn't okay the tool tips not as great as I thought it was <laughs> it just kind of lets you see what was in there but it doesn't like auto compact everything down, which I was kind of hoping it would. But anyway, uh, yeah, the shulker boxes, these are really, really nice. Not super expensive storage. And like I said, you can pick them up and take things with you. Now I saw when I picked this item up, it's putting a plus in here. I think you could put items directly in, right click to add. So everything that's in my inventory, I can just put into there. That's super handy too. I don't think any other modded inventory has a thing like that as far as I know I think anyway uh we're gonna go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today guys we were going to do biodiesel we ended up going and killing the dragon and doing some end stuff well I mean this is stuff that we had to do anyway right we needed the biotite in order to unlock the crafting in order to unlock the garden cloche in order for us to automate this We'll get there. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.